On Saturday, the North Avenue Red Rocketeer wrestling team headed up to North Andover High School where they took on the Division II Dual Meet State Championship Tournament. They would go 4-0 on the day and come home here in North Attleboro, Dual Meet State Champions. Well, we had started the day off with Ashland Keefe Tech. One of the nice things about that particular match, though, was Alex DeVito knocking off a runner-up uh, sectional champ from the previous season. I really thought one of the toughest matches for the day was really going to be Winchester High School. They're a squad that's very much like our own. Some good depth and some quality across all 14 weight classes. No real superstars, per se, but just a good, solid team. Uh, next on the list for us was Neshoba. Neshoba is almost exactly the opposite of a, of a Winchester. Uh, 14 varsity starters from their school, but four superstars, four kids of real high quality, high caliber. And our guys matching up with those guys in the stronger weight classes, and we, we took some lumps, but we saw some really good wrestling. But we still pulled out all those other 10 matches, and that was really the difference. And then we went on to Central Catholic. We started off with Alex DeVito, and then went on through the lineup. Uh, I really looked to guys like Jordan Tillenhast and Colin Fisk, who were wrestling the very best that the state of Massachusetts had to offer. And even though they took a loss, those losses were wins for our team because they kept it to a, a decision in a major, a three-point loss and a four-point loss. Uh, at that point, I was feeling pretty good because I'm very confident with Jack Donahue, Nick Morrison, Leo Tebow did a great job. Sankey knocked off the number two wrestler in the state. And you got guys like having a guaranteed win almost with Devin Spratt at the end. I, I think Fisk and Jordan set the tone for the remainder of the dual meet. Uh, kind of deflated Central Catholic. Once Nick Morrison won his match, I knew we were pretty much in the uh, in the driver's seat. Sankey just put the put the cap on the whole thing. So. While we were at practice, we were able to pull aside a few of the wrestlers. Starting off with Devin Spratt, who went 4-0 on the day with four pins. I think the tournament for me going in, I was kind of the guy team kind of needed to rely on for some points. I thought the match was going to come down to me because I was the very last kid, so that was kind of scary. If it comes down to me, I feel like people trust me to get at least a win. We spoke to heavyweight stud Brennan Sankey on his huge win over Central Catholic's Carlos Cabrera, who was ranked number two in the state at the time. Uh, well, I personally think that I should be number two in the state, so I think that me beating the number two kid just proves where I should be. I just think that ultimately winning that match was important for our team. I definitely feel great having contributed a win and earning team points, especially in such a tough match. Coach Griffin named them as the stars of the finals, so we talked to Colin Fisk and Jordan Tillinghast. Fisk wrestled the number one wrestler at his weight. He lost, but with the takedown at the end of the match, moved his loss from a major to a minor. I gave a takedown uh, pretty close to the end, and I knew I was getting majored, um, so I would be uh, giving up 14 points, and I, I think it was about 15 seconds left. I just went in for a shot quick and uh, ended up taking him down which was pretty cool. It prevented the team from uh, giving up four. I was just kind of excited that I was able to run with some of the top kids in the state. Um, I think when uh, DeVos came into the match, he was definitely looking to pin me. And uh, you know, I was able to fight off my back and um, prevent him from you know, getting six for his team. So I was pretty excited about that. Tillinghast, similar to Fist, goes up against top state caliber Donovan Nolan, ranked third in the entire state. Um, obviously the kid was really good, but um, that, that match, I, I lost, it, it helped kind of like break open the, the whole duel along with Colin's match because their best kids couldn't get back points on us, couldn't, they couldn't pin us. I knew that, um, that that kid was not putting me on my back and I, was, I wasn't standing on my back. So uh, it really didn't matter how aggressive he was wrestling, I just need to, to keep my head in it and then I, I knew I'd be fine. It was really important to me that I was able to stick it through and, and keep it up for my team. I asked Coach Griffin what it was like for him to win a state title and what was next for his wrestlers. His response came from one of his favorite movies, Patton. All victories are fleeting. That's essentially what uh, General Patton said at the end of the movie. We'll take it one day at a time. Um, I'm proud of the kids. They did a great job. I'm proud of our coaching staff specifically for helping prepare all the kids to be ready to compete when it was most important. We have some more important days coming up though, so we still have a work cut out for us.